water, grab an iced tea, grab a lemonade, grab something because we are going to talk and go in depth, all things undergarments, shapewear, all of that good stuff, all from Amazon. These are Amazon, I think, best of the best. I have tried so many and if you have been a long time, let me show my, my camera is straight. Oh, it always makes me worried. Hold on. If you've been here with me for a long time, um, or if you know me at all, if you watch my stories, you know that I am like extremely picky about just, just about everything. I will never recommend something that I don't personally have myself or that I've done enough research on to feel really strongly about. And when I tell you these are the best of the best, and if you're looking for everyday bras, everyday underwear, and different kinds of shapewear and different levels of compression, you have stumbled upon the perfect video because I have it all here for you. From everyday basic bras to the best strapless, bra strapless bras and everything in between. So let's roll. Double fisting today, water and coffee. We are going to talk bras first. I think bras are the kind of thing that are can make or break any outfit that you are wearing. Whether it's, I'm looking for comfort, I'm looking for, I don't want to be bustier than I am. Um, and overall, I'm looking for something that I can wear every single day that feels good, feels comfortable. I'm not tugging at it. The underwire isn't bothering me. It fits. It looks good with everyday t-shirts or button downs. It's got to fit that bill. And I feel like I have them for you here that are absolutely perfect. And we're going to start off with one that I have been wearing the longest. And if you've been following my stories on Instagram, you've already heard about this last year. I raved about this last year. I called it the bra. Um, I think I have about five of these at this point, but this is what this one looks like. It does not have an underwire, but it does have pretty good support. I would say this has about medium support no underwire but again it fits like it has an underwire it gives you really good support and this is the kind of bra that i wear literally every day i don't even have to think about what i'm wearing that day unless it is a square um cut top this is a go-to like i don't even have to think about it just take it, take it out and put it on it looks great with any t-shirt it has really light padding um, but nothing that makes you look bustier than you are so it's great all around fits that bill like I said tank tops to t-shirts it's a good one it's a go-to and like I said I have five of them for a reason in that same category and one that I'm actually the one that I'm wearing today I have the nude version this comes in a pack of three it actually comes in different colors but they're all packs of three I have two packs of them so I have six total the black ones in the wash the nude one I'm wearing, and this is the white one. This is along the same lines. This has underwire, so if you need just a bit more support and a bit more separation, because I feel like underwire gives you better separation, this is a really good one. It has no padding, so if you are looking for something that has padding, this is not it, but this is wildly comfortable, a great everyday, sort of what I call t-shirt bras, meaning it looks great under t-shirt because it doesn't have any fancy edging or any kind of lace that pops through a basic t-shirt. These are fantastic. They're also a really great price. I believe they're three for 25, which is a fantastic price for a bra. Um, and I've had these for a really long time and they're wildly comfortable. I wash all of my undergarments in undergarment bags, which is key to keeping them looking good, not fray, not lose their shape, the underwire not breaking, really crucial. I will link every single thing in the description of this video down below and I will also have everything linked on my LTK so that you can go back at any time and find a bra or find something and easily shop if you want so these are fantastic these are, i would say are the ones that i've worn the longest probably a year and a half i've not yet to replace them they work great they fit great they're my go-to's like i said i'm wearing the nude one now it's very smooth in when i mention every single thing that i'm going to mention today i will show you a clip of me actually wearing each thing under something so that I can show you like you don't see any lines it's comfortable all the things that way you can get an actual vision I sleep in a bra every single day but this next bra I'm going to show you is a new find for me and it is amazing it would be amazing to sleep in I don't like not sleeping in a bra I just don't 
like that feeling but this would also be a phenomenal is a phenomenal everyday bra it's un, un, not un without a wire it doesn't have a wire but you can see it has that cup shaping so that it's very flattering you're not gonna have uniboob um, and it gives you great shape it is padded you could take the padding out but then I feel like it would be really thin but you could if you wanted to although the padding isn't thick enough to make you look bustier than you actually are because the bra itself is very very smooth there's very minimal fabric to it it's stretchy it's comfortable it is amazing it's fully adjustable on the strap which is key for me because I like to be able to fully adjust it how I want I don't want to have just like a tiny little bit that I can adjust um, it's amazing it's also really affordable and to me it's one of the best smoothing bras I've ever come across that actually provides support and shape because a lot of times these don't provide any of that so this is amazing a go-to this is going to go into the same pile as my everyday bras just because I will literally use this every single day because it's phenomenal it's smoothing it's comfortable it's like second skin there's no it's got really thin edging so that it really lays across the skin really nicely and it's not bulky anywhere which means it's just going to go under everything perfectly another bra that i this i reserve for when i'm wearing a square neck top you need a balconette top for square neck tops but when you are busty a balconette top can make you look so much worse because the way that they're cut everything sort of spills from the top so I came across this one last year and it is amazing amazing it is lace so I don't love wearing this underneath like simple like cottony t-shirts just because you see the lace but I don't have I'm the only tops I'm talking about are like body suits or like a thicker top that's a square neck and this is what I wear under it and it is amazing it's a perfect cut so that it still gives you shape and support but it cu cuts low enough so that it doesn't pop up here underneath that top it's so nice minimal non-lined so it's not going to give me a bigger chest than i want um and it's just amazing it's my go-to under all square neck tops so if i am gonna grab a square neck top this is what i reach for every single time because it's comfortable like i said it's minimal it is lined it does have that wire underneath um which means it just lets the girls sit pretty if that makes any sense now let's talk strapless i feel very strongly about this topic specifically because i feel like i am queen of finding the best strapless bras if you've been with me a long time you have heard me mention on instagram that i have gotten a lift a couple years ago with a mastopexy um, I nursed my daughter for a really long time and they were inflated balloons. So they definitely needed some reshaping. They definitely needed to be lifted up. I didn't have a crane to lift them up every day. So I went to a professional and I have two strapless bras here that serve different purposes. And I'm going to walk you through them. This is my oldie but goodie. This is the one that I wore when I needed really good cleavage because to be honest with you, when they are that deflated from nursing for so long, you have no good cleavage. You need all the help you can get. And this definitely fit that bill. So if I was wearing any kind of strapless top and I wanted them to like just look pretty, do you know what I mean? Like they do in a bra with wiring. Um, this is what I used, okay? It like lifted them up. It give you really good cleavage it held you in it has really good support it's really nicely structured it's like uh, a boss in the underwire uh, I'm sorry in the strapless bra world okay I have tried so many I have tried every high end you can think of I've tried the lively I've tried every Victoria's Secret bras but like I stopped buying Victoria's Secret 10 years ago because I just came to the realization that their bras will never work for me I have tried uh, Notori. I've tried every single bras, high-end bras you can possibly imagine. I've tried them all and these are my tried and true. And this is my tried and true heavy support, good cleavage, good structure. It's going to look great underneath everything. Um, worth every penny. This is a bit of an investment. This is the most expensive thing in this haul, but it is well worth your money. It's amazing. And you should see in the clips, I'm going to show you the kind of cleave and the kind of shaping that this gives you without having any straps although it does come with straps and you can always add the straps on if you want to it's amazing 
strapless but not as much support more comfort and more minimal would be this one this one i've had for years now it is this is now my go-to just simply because i don't need that much support nor do i want that much cleavage because now the girls are sitting pretty you know what i mean now they're just sitting there <laughs> and i don't have to force that shape um this is great this is comfortable you can tell it's ratty i've worn this a lot it's now what I wear all the time. Even though I've had a lift and they just sit there looking pretty, I cannot go without a bra. Sometimes I have to because certain tops just require that, certain dresses, but 99.99% .99 of the time, I will wear a bra, even in a strapless top because I feel the most comfortable, I feel the most secure, I feel held in. This is what I wear. It's, it has no padding, so it's minimal. It doesn't have like that structure like this one has. So again, this is gonna give you great shape. This is not necessarily gonna give you shape, but it's gonna hold you in. This has minimal, like I would say medium-ish support, and it's really comfortable. So, 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 so comfortable. Probably the most comfortable strapless bra you'll ever wear in your life. And with, just like any other strapless bra, there is, is with both of them, with any strapless bra, a bit of like this that you have to do occasionally but trust me those two have the absolute minimal amount of pulling up you have to do compared to every single other thing i've ever tried so those are the best i think strapless bras on the market and i think either one of them would be good for you depending on what you're looking for they both serve great purposes and i feel like if you have those two like i wouldn't want to give up my full coverage one because sometimes honestly some dress some dresses just like call for that shape and that look and i like wearing that um so they just fit the bill those are all the bras now we're going to move on to underwear and like shapewear i don't have these to show you here just because they're in my bedroom and i kind of really feel strange about holding up underwear but i will show you photos of what i'm exactly what i'm talking about now these are not from amazon and the reason why i'm sharing them anyway is because i just want to give you the 411 on all the best undergarments to wear under everything these particular ones are what I wear every single day because they are comfortable, they're high rise, they're line free so that they look good underneath of everything and they're just really comfortable and I feel like they really fit my body type well. I'm not tugging in them, they don't move, they just stay put and they're very comfortable. I wear these every single day underneath every single thing because they're just like my go-to's very very comfortable no, no nothing to really complain about um they're just fantastic underneath jeans i can wear them underneath a dress if i want to they're just great underneath of everything having said that i do wear different underwear to sleep i was always raised that you wear like a cotton -y sort of underwear to sleep because those are the most comfortable and that's what i've always worn and my schedule i shower twice a day because i work out in the morning so I shower and then I will, you know, wear my everyday underwear. Then I shower at night and I put on my nighttime underwear. Does that make sense to you? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's an Italian thing. I don't really know. But I wear these every single day. And they're so, so comfortable. I wear, I'm sorry, I meant to say I wear these every single night. And they're so, so comfortable. They're a cotton underwear from Amazon. I've worn them for years. I probably get a new pack every six months or so because they do fray at the edges a little bit just because of the material, but they are so comfortable. I wear them every single night. The only thing that I will tell you is to just size up one. Um, I size up one in all of my undergarments, not in my bras, I mean in my underwear, because I don't want anything to be tight. Oh, I don't even want it to be fitted. I almost rather have it be a little bit larger on me so that I'm really comfortable and nothing is like leaving marks or showing panty lines or anything like that. These particular ones are what I wear to sleep every night because they're comfortable, they stay put, um, and they're, they feel breathable, and they're just absolutely my go-to. I also just like wear them in the morning, I wake up, put my workout clothes on, I work out. I don't work out in the gym, so I'm not concerned about panty lines, but if you are, maybe wear something else. And then I come home, take a shower, and, my, and I wear my day underwear after that. So those are the two that I wear on like a daily, nightly basis if it's not like a special thing i'm looking for if i'm not wearing a dress if i'm not wearing anything specific that's just my go-to we're going to talk 
underwear, we are going to talk. Um, I'm looking at my viewfinder just because it's so dark. We've had like the worst rain, the worst weather. Like I apologize that it's dark, but there's nothing I can do about it. If I don't film this now, I'm not filming it for another week because we are having another week of rain and storms. And I just, ah, uh, anyway, so let's roll into undergarments. Okay, this is the first one. I'm gonna show it to you up, but it's kind of like a weird thing to show up. This is what they look like. I will show you a picture of them. These are what, um, so if, if you've been following me, I hate to keep saying that, but you know, if you've been following me, you know that my favorite thing to wear under dresses is the hot and under bodies and eh, under dresses and under jumpsuits are the high rise ones from Soma, but they're expensive. They're, I think they're like $28 a piece. And a lot of you have been asking me for alternatives because they're really pricey. So I came across these and there's, they're four for 30, which is a great, great price. And they are so similar, almost identical to those, which makes me so happy. And this is what I've been wearing underneath the dresses and underneath of my favorite jumpsuit. That's why you don't see any lines. They're so nice. They're high rise so that they're smoothing. These are not compression underwear. These are just smoothing. When you're wearing a dress, when you're wearing a jumpsuit, when you're wearing anything where you just have that drape happening, I like to have something that just smooths me out. Not sucks me in like, uh, like a shapewear, but just something smoothing that feels like it's gonna just drape really nicely and this is it. These also work really well underneath things like linen pants, white pants, cream trousers. They work really, really well because they're very, very comfortable. And this have now, these have now replaced my Soma ones because the price is amazing and they're super comfortable. And just make sure you size up on everything I'm showing you. Make sure you size up one because you don't wanna have any like digging in because the more digging in, the more things are gonna show. So the whole name of the game here is to keep things really seamless and really smooth, even though you're being sucked in. And you do that by making sure that you're sizing up one. That is key. That is the secret magic sauce, but no one tells you. So these are gonna be great under all of our summer dresses, summer jumpsuits. They're amazing, comfortable. Don't ride up. Don't leave any tight lines anywhere. They're just, they replaced my other ones, like I said, you know, four for 30, how do you beat that when one is only 20, when one, one is like 27. So, such a good deal. I could not wait to share that one with you. That was like my find of the century. Now, along the same lines of smoothing but not compression are these. These are incredible. These, I've been wearing these for a while. These are just simple shorts. They don't ride up. That's an important thing. They don't, the, the waist doesn't roll down and legs don't ride up. These are gonna be great to, all underneath all of your dresses, underneath of your trousers, underneath of anything that you just want to pull it on or pull it over your head or whatever, and it just like falls really like smoothly. If you go to church and you want to wear a slip, but sometimes you feel like um, something is like a too tight, like a too much compression, you wear something like this. I wore this specific one. Um, I wear, I wear this under pants and they're just seamless. They're completely like they have the, the, the seam is so thin, you don't see it, and it's very comfortable. They fit great. This particular nude is very universally like flattering just because you don't see it under things. Um, and they're amazing. Not compression, but very smoothing, comfortable. This would also be great if the very top of the high inner thigh bothers you when they rub in the summer. These are gonna be great for that like top of the thigh, not all the way. I have something else for you for that, which we'll talk about in the summer. Um, but these are, these are must haves for sure. Moving into the next thing, these are a little more compression than those ones, still smoothing, still not high compression, but in the same line of smoothing, but these are much shorter. You can see how much shorter those are than these. Let me do them side by side. And these are great for, see the difference? These are definitely shorter and these definitely have a bit more compression than these. So these I would say have a light compression. These I would call smoothing. These are light compression, but really nice, really smoothing, perfect if you're wearing a short, short skirt or a short dress. I wore this for Easter because I had a short dress on and I was afraid that those these ones you would see if I sat down. These you did not. They don't roll up, they don't roll down. Medium, I would say light compression, um, not medium, light compression, very comfortable. These would be great underneath of all of your skirts, short skirts, short dresses, but you don't want anything too tight. 
these are going to be your go-to. If, however, you want this, but with more compression on the belly area, you go with this because that is exactly the same shape. These are exactly the same shape as those light compression, but these have medium compression, which means they have a bit more compression in the belly area, a little bit tighter in the belly area, but the same sort of thing where they don't roll up, they don't roll down, they stay in place, and they're gonna be great under all of your dresses or even underneath your pants, underneath anything where you just want a bit more coverage and more compression in the belly area. These would be for you. These are gonna be fantastic underneath lots of different things, and the compression is not uncomfortable. Just like I said, make sure you are sizing up one in everything you see with the exception of the bras. The bras should fit you properly, and if you don't know what your size is, go to your local, bra store and get sized properly because that makes a world of a difference so anyway these medium compression are phenomenal we've come to the end and we are now to down to the mother of all shapewear this is the one that started it all this is the one that people were asking for dupes on and it was the hardest to find because it lives up to, it's gonna live up to my honey love you guys know i love my honey love shaper but it is pricey and I know a lot of you don't want or can't spend that much on a shaper. And I was determined to find you something just as good on a budget. And I think that we have found it. It fits the bill. It fits exactly the same. But there's only a couple differences. One of which, first of all, it looks like this. It looks like that. The, this is a good like mid thigh. High, comes all the way up under the boob high compression so if you want to feel i told my cut my, my girlfriend this makes me feel 15 pounds lighter six inches taller because it sucks you in and it literally shaves 15 pounds off your body and it sucks you in so your posture really strains out and it is incredible the only difference is between this and the honey love is that one there's no pee hole so you're gonna have to take the whole thing off when you do go to the bathroom not a big deal but something to note and two i would say three things two it doesn't come down as low. The one from Money Love comes right uh, down to, well, they have two. They have the one that's short like this and the one that I always wear comes uh, right up above the knee, but they also do have one that's this length as well. And the third, re the third difference is that the one from Honey Love has like no seam at all on the edges. I don't know how they do that because they don't move. This one does have a bit of a seam, a not anything thick or anything that is a an issue but it does have a seam and those would be the main differences um other than that it fits just about the same at a fraction of the price and it fits amazing now i was your guinea pig i was like our guinea pig and i actually this still has a tag on it but i actually all of the other ones i've showed you i have worn out and about i've worn them well this one i didn't get the chance to wear it out because i haven't gone to any fancy occasion where i needed to have this kind of shapewear on since i got it but my sister thought i was crazy because i put this on with a dress and i walked around my house for about four hours testing it out i made sure to sit down stand up i wore it with a dress i wore it with heels i went to the bathroom i just wanted to make sure that it was up to par and up to my standards before i shared it with you because i think there's a big difference between showing you something that i got versus something i really recommend that you would really love and i you know make sure to test it out for us and this is definitely that it just fits that bill really nicely it is amazing if you need a great shapewear like i said for special occasions to wear with tight dresses this is it this has high compression so it's gonna hold everything in there are others that I tried that I am not even kidding. I don't know how it's possible, but it made me look worse. It like, some of them took my midsection and squeezed it in and it made it look worse. I'm like, what is that? Others had like my, I call it my meat. I don't know what you call it. Basically like your hip bone meat. I don't know. My mom calls it the meat. Like squeezed it in and it made it look like two lumps on either side. I'm like, this is just terrible. So there were so many that I went through that it was comical. Joe is such a saint because he's my return person. <laughs> and he was like, it's fine. I'll return everything. Um, because I really was determined to find you the best of the best. And if you have these in your drawers, you will not have a need for anything else. So 
I hope that that helps you. I will leave everything linked down below. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Let me know what other videos you want to see. And I'll be happy to do them. I know I was a little MIA, but I was so busy in the month of March with my book launch and everything that like I, I, I couldn't do it all. I'm only one person. I film, I edit, I do it all by myself. So it was a lot. Anyway, I love you. You're my bestie. You know that I'm here for you. Let me know what else you want to see next and I will see you in the next one.